disappointed. Oh god. Getting healthy. Oh no! Oh my god, you can't do any of these hero points on your own. It's unreal. All the bosses are too strong. Look at that shield regeneration! Damaging it! How? Why? Why? Why would someone design something like this? Who did this? And I hope whoever did was fired! Oh my god, who did this? Who? Oh, alright, I'm, I'm just gonna say it because I've been waiting to say it since I left this area. Heart of Thorn sucks. It sucks. Outside of the story, it sucks. Oh my god. Everything outside of the story for Heart of Thorns sucks. I finally said it. Yes. <laughs> I finally said it. I finally had the goddamn balls to say it. Uh. A true warrior needs a weapon for every day of the week. That's just not true at all. <laughs> it's just a blatantly non-true fact. Sorry guys, just needed that real quick. <laughs> just had to jump in between you here. Oh god! Ugh. God. Oh, Jesus. Quickly. 
don't need you healing anything. Leave me alone, you stupid tree. Oh, God. No. How do I go down further? Where can I even go down? Need to rest. How do you go down further? It says I have to go down further. Because there's 47 levels to every area in this goddamn expansion pack. Where do you go down for- Leave me alone! Oh my god! Here? Can I go down here? You're all probably loving this. You're like, oh, look! <laughs> look at him! Up now? What? Where? Oh, I don't understand. If you want to make areas like this, you need to have some sort of more, more concrete guide than just a map. Where am I supposed to go? What in the... F up here? They're still following me! Look at how far they followed me! Oh my god! Look at me, they're killing each other, I think. It's like, I want to explore these areas myself, but they're such crocs of shit that it's just so unfun. Like, I, I just want to go back to a part of the game at this point that's fun. Like, <laughs> what on earth? Why? Just teleported out of nowhere. Oh my... What do you mean, up? What do you mean? Where is there to go up? Now you mean down! Oh, it's right there. And it's a fight, isn't it? It's a fight, and I probably can't do it on my own. Oh, look, it's a champion, because of course it is. Oh, look. Oh, look. And he's got an elite cave troll that helps him out because I love this game! I can't, I can't, I'm, I can't do I'm, I'm going somewhere fun. I, I can't, I can't do it anymore. I tried to convince myself in the last episode that part of it was just because I had been in these areas for so long and it was driving me mad. I can't. This expansion pack sucks. I'm sorry. I'm so I, I'm sorry, Arena Net. I love this game. I love Path of Fire. This expansion pack sucks. Go to Dry Top. I can say that's part of the expansion pack, and it shouldn't be awful, but it probably will be.
I'm watching the LCS right now. I haven't played League in like three weeks. I really should. I should play a game of League. I assume this area has to get so much easier with mounts. Has to get ridiculously easier, right? Like, because part of this whole area was like that it was supposed to be difficult to change levels, but now I just jump. Go ahead and jump. Oh god, I'll get copyrighted. Stop. Stop it. Say, please don't hit me. I need to change mounts and get over there and help. Look at me helping. I'm helping. Oh god. Oh god. I'm helping to the tune of getting knocked right off the thing. You thought I needed one of those? I got a gold. <laughs> Definitely should not have. Yeah, so I can confirm this area gets a little easier with mounts. This is, in my opinion, this is probably the most well-designed area in Heart of Thorns. If you want, like, like, if you want people, if you don't want to put, like, any sort of, like, uh like a, a, a visual guide that, like, maybe an arrow in front of the character, like, if you don't want to put anything like that in, you need to create more straightforward areas. You can't create areas like in, in, you know, like the areas we were just in with no sort of guide. It'll just, it's just absolute lunacy to expect someone to figure some of that stuff out. It's, you know, like I said, to their credit, they learned in, in Path of Fire, but... How did I never get this one? Just must not have been paying a lot of attention. I remember this area. This was a cool area. I do like Dry Top. It's cool. It doesn't throw enemies at you constantly. It's just, it's a fun... I really, it almost, you know what it almost reminds me? It almost reminds me of a... Uh... Oh, God. Uh... It's almost got like a Jack and Daxter feel to it. With all the sand and some of the buildings. Probably like one of the last comparisons people expected. <laughs> when I was like, oh, it reminds me of... I'd love to play Jack and Daxter on this channel. Oh, If I could get that running with a decent frame rate. Oh my god. All day, every day. There are so many games I want to let's play, but... As of right now, I just can't optimize them to a point that the quality is to my standards. As well as the visuals and everything. Like, I want to play Champions of Norath, so... Oh, well, wait, before I run away... Oh, down? Oh, okay. Crag Rock Palace. I don't know what's here. It doesn't look like much, but... Um, another game I'd love to play is uh, Champions of Norath. Unfortunately, Snowblind games are so notoriously hard to emulate. I've tried a couple times, especially... Part of the problem, too, is games obviously run a bit better if they have their disc, like, constantly running, um, I can't do that with my laptop, my laptop does not have a CD drive, so any, the only way I could possibly use the disc, it would be if I use an external drive, and the problem with that, is the external drive does not act 
like a a drive on like a tower will wherein that the drive on the tower is capable of spinning the disc constantly external disc drives don't do that um at least not from my knowledge uh they don't so i can't really i can't really uh you know, it, it's not a reliable way for me to say... No, 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 damn it. Actually, it might be easier. Uh, it's... I can't... I can't run it at the quality that I want... Without the disc, realistically. So, it's a game that I'll always have in mind to Let's Play. Uh, but it, it's something that's gotta be on the back burner for now. I, I, I don't have a choice. Even to X-Men Legends. I've been meaning to replay X-Men Legends forever since I originally recorded it and mentioned it in one of these videos back in, like, the hundreds. You know, one hundreds. Um, I can't get that game to run as well as I'd like on this laptop either. Um, I can get it to run. Honestly, I could probably even get it running well enough to do a Let's Play of it, but I don't... I have a certain standard that I want the game to run at, you know? And for me, that standard is typically I want to I wanna up the in-game resolution a little bit, and I want to... I want a nice, at least mostly consistent 60 frames. Um, and eventually, I'll get a computer that does that. Yo, it, I'm actually moving soon. Um... And part of my move, I would like to get a tower that's just a beast. Um, we'll see if that happens. Um, you yeah, don't know if it will, obviously, but... It's funny, I never thought I'd have a fear of moving. It's like, oh, well, what if, this, what if I can't get a good mic quality? What if I can't... Oh, God, what if I can't... Yeah, like... <laughs> I'm thinking about things I never thought I'd think about, ever. Like, what, you know. And here I am. Oh. Up. Quickly. Fury is mine. Quit. I'm hit. Huh. Okay. <laughs> ah. How you even get to this without a mount? It's a good question, actually. I mean, I'm sure there's an answer because this was made before mounts were even in the pic. Oh, you use those gems, and those gems could make you jump real big, from what I remember. I was about to joke around. You think they're gonna make me fight something up here? <laughs> I didn't have use for hero points anymore. Uh, that's where I'm going to end this episode. Kukumuru, thanks you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.